I made the video about the Karma Grip not too long ago, and one of the complaints that I had about it was that it was not going to allow you to use USB Type-C for audio on the Hero 5. And in that video, I mentioned that I picked up the 3.5mm GoPro audio adapter. Again, reason that I was so disappointed I wasn't going to be able to use it. So today, I thought we'd go ahead and take a look at the GoPro using that 3.5mm mic adapter and just see what a difference that audio could make. So again, today, we're taking a look at the official GoPro 3.5mm mic adapter for the Hero 5 Black and the Hero 5 Session. Now before we get started here, I should also mention, I ordered over on Amazon a couple of USB Type-C to 3.5mm adapters, super duper cheap ones that were like six bucks for two. They did not work. From what I've heard, from what I've seen on other channels, this is the only adapter that will work with the Hero 5 and the Hero 5 Session at this point. So you're pretty much up a creek paying 50 bucks for this if you need better sound from your GoPro. With all that said, let's go ahead and open it up. And... There's the contents of the package. This package cost 50 bucks. And yeah, aside from the cable, you get a little teeny tiny notice at the bottom that says, make sure to update your GoPro before you can use this three and a half millimeter adapter. I already did the update. I don't think there are any more future updates that I've missed or anything, but I'll double check before the video goes up. But either way, there's your adapter, your official GoPro three and a half millimeter to USB type C adapter. Here on the other end, you can see we have a USB type C port as well as that three and a half millimeter microphone input. And that's all there is to it. So what you're gonna have to do to use this with your GoPro again, update it, make sure it's got the latest firmware and whatnot. Take the door off the outside because you're gonna end up banging it up, you're gonna end up losing it or something, and that's a $20 door to replace. Plug in your USB Type-C adapter here. It is right angle, so you shouldn't be banging it into too many things. You don't have to worry as much about that. And it should hopefully work either way. So if you're wearing this on your chest or something, you can have the mic go up. If you're using it with a rig or something, you could have the mic go up or down. But then you have your three and a half millimeter port and that's where you plug your mic in. And actually inside of the camera, there are a few options I forgot to mention. If you swipe down from the top and go into preferences, you have to swipe all the way up to where you see, there it is, audio input. By default, it was set to standard. You also have standard plus, non-powered, non-powered plus, and line in. So presumably that's gonna change the way that it interacts with a microphone. The fact that it mentions non-powered versus standard, I'm gonna assume that that means it will do phantom power, hopefully. I'll do some testing and I'll get right back with you though. And stepping outside into the cold for just a minute or two, this is what the GoPro Hero 5 Black sounds like by default. This does not have a microphone attached to it. This is just the standard audio. Pretty sure it's even set to auto, so it should be sort of determining if it needs to deal with wind or not. There's a very, very light breeze out at the moment, and so that's what it sounds like. This is what it sounds like using the non-powered setting, and I've actually got, sorry for your ears, a microphone here. It's the super cheap anvil and hammer microphone I picked up a little while back. It's got a dead cat windscreen on it. If you can figure out a way to mount it up, I saw a guy named the Adam Black who actually made a pseudo mount for the top of his frame. This mic would apparently do pretty well. And there are a lot of other microphones that would probably do even better. Now this is the non-powered plus setting. This should be basically the same as it was before, but maybe boosted up just a little bit. The plus that I've tested so far has just been basically the exact same sound, but just a lot more of it. And last but hopefully not least is this little pin mic that I've got on the front of me. This is the Rode pin mic. I've got it set to the standard mode now, which means that it should be providing power to it. I've done a few tests with it this way as well, and it did work appropriately. And of all of the ones that I've tested, I think this one actually sounds the best, the most natural significant improvement over the existing GoPro audio. And again, it has a little dead cat on it, a little windscreen on it to help keep out any sort of breeze because there's a little bit of a breeze blowing at the moment. And this is the same Rode pin mic using the standard plus option, which again should give you a little bit more sound, a little bit more oomph. Uh, when I tested it earlier, it actually sounded like it might be too loud, but again, let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below. And that's actually where I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. Do I think that this is worth the $50 investment? It really is gonna depend upon your use case. For someone like myself who actually uses the GoPro day in and day out to capture like first person view quadcopter videos, it probably is gonna be worth it because you can have whatever microphone you want and not have to worry about wind or anything. For someone who's just wanting to use it to capture surfing or skiing or whatever else, probably not gonna be worth it for you, but that's where I'm gonna wrap it up for today. 50 bucks over on gopro.com probably going to be available on some other sites. I'll get some links if I can. Hit that thumbs up below if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to receive my videos when they become available. I'll see you again next time.